So hello everyone. So I will be presenting today how we used string method based free energy calculations to understand the role of membrane cholesterol in bacterial toxin activity. The bacterial toxins that we are interested in is pore forming toxins. These are produced by bacteria and 40 to 50 percent of infections are actually TFT mediated to name a few like cholera, di diarrhea, anthrax and typhoid. So what does it do? Bacteria release these toxins in water soluble form and then of the order of around 30 to 70 kilo Dalton uh, molecular weight and then this uh, these entities start to interact with the host membrane cell such as human cell membrane and then they start start to assemble on it by interacting with each, with each other and then fi finally the assembly structure insert into the membrane and form a pore and during this pore formation some of the hydrophobic residues have to make a conformational change as uh, rearrange themselves in order to uh, uh, accommodate themselves in a highly hydrophobic membrane environment which is the most favorable location for them to be and this is structural change we call as a conformational change number of mono, a monomer in a pore can lie and anywhere between 1 to 50 and the diameter of the pore can be 5 to 40 nanometer the pfts are classified into two categories broadly into two category alpha pft and beta pft based on secondary structure content if it contains mostly alpha helix we call them alpha pft if they contain beta sheet we call them beta, beta pft the toxin that we work with is our cytolysine a clie which is an alpha pore forming toxins as you can see the water soluble form contains mostly the alpha helices once it inter interacts with the host cell membrane it converts to this membrane inserted form which is a protomer form and then 12 such inserted form interact with each other and form a dodecameric pore structure where this region is the membrane inserted domain and the diameter of this can uh, is, is around 2.86 nanometer so there are some challenges in the study of this uh, toxin one seven is the what is the kinetics and pathway of the molecular level mechanism and then finally correlating the pore formation mechanism with, with the membrane component dynamics membrane components such as the lipids and steroids and finally, once you have this knowledge, you can you, you can start developing no, novel alternative therapeutics to, to combat the bacterial infections by targeting the mode of infections, which is a PFT, instead of killing the bacteria with antibiotics. To answer some of these questions, what we did, we considered the we looked at the structural change of the protein. So in this entire conformational change from water soluble to membrane inserted. The major change occurs in this beta sheet region, which is mostly hydrophobic. And as I have as I have already previously mentioned, the hydrophobic part has to rearrange themselves. So this part convert to helix state in a membrane inserted state. So we considered this part and looked at the conformational change in detail. So we put this beta tongue in a model lipid membrane. When I say model, means we are only considering a single lipid. However, in reality, there can be more than one lipid component and several other things. So we simulate beta sheet and helix both of them in membrane however as i already said this beta sheet is actually water soluble but we are putting it into into the membrane because we already know at the end both of them has to go in like it has to in, go in the membrane and convert into it we are considering that it, it has already gone inside and then what we do we apply string method approach to calculate to find to capture this interesting transition the string method is uh, it, we recently developed this method where what what does it do it pro it helps us to find the transition path between an initial state and a final state such a path passes through minimum free energy path and if you look at here all the forces are in the parallel to the path which are which are shown here with red color arrow there is no force in the perpendicular direction to the path so the basic principle of this method is to minimize the per perpendicular component of the forces on the path until you converge to a path where there is no force in the perpendicular direction once you have that path so that path passes through intermediate if exist and also some uh, also the saddle points so we use this analysis and we were able to capture the, tra the transition and uh, uh, that uh, transition we captured with the help of path collective variables you can uh, you can refer to this uh, li literature to know more to read more about these variables so the the mechanism of this transition is as follows this beta sheet first has to unfold and during this unfolding the n terminus site has some helicity it does it remain intact which was already previously there however c terminus site loses its helicity and then finally it fold back to the helix state and this state is somewhere nearby that transition state 
now no now as i as i mentioned these water soluble uh, form interact with host cell membrane so here we ask a question why doesn't this go back and kill the bacteria itself it can go back and kill uh, uh, interact with the bacterial cell wall and form the pore on the bacteria but this doesn't happen because of a because of a fundamental dif difference between the bacterial cell wall and animal cell wall that is the presence of cholesterol so bacteria cell wall that does not contain cholesterol and many pfts utilize the cholesterol as a receptor and when they code the specificity in their activity previously in our lab with the help of vesicle leakage experiment where what they do they expose this dye filled uh, dye filled vesicle dye filled vesicles to these pfts and when they pft start to form pore they they detect the fluorescence in the solution and based on that they were able to quantify the activity upon increasing the cholesterol concentration in the in, in the in the in the lipids when they go from 0 to 30 and 50 you see the flu fluorescence increases and the kinetics also increases and next with the help of md simulations when they uh, track the behavior of cholesterol around the around the entire pore state they found the mobility of the cholesterol was extremely low nearby these uh, these pore state which essentially says that the cholesterol has higher affinity to interact with these with these pore and when we zoom in into this uh, these structure closely then we find that the cholesterol like to sit in between two beta sheet and interact with certain residue so here the cholesterol kind of works as a glue to hold the entire pore state in the membrane and provide the stability so this study was all about the uh, the role of cholesterol when the pore has formed to provide the stability but now the question is what is the role of cholesterol during the conformational change to go from beta sheet to helix state so to answer this we again did the similar exercise of the beta tongue in a membrane with cholesterol where what we do now we simulate this beta sheet and interestingly what we find an spontaneous unfolding of this beta sheet in the membrane without uh, without any uh, external bias so, we, so th that essentially means there is no free energy barrier now for it to uh, unfold, which was previously there in, in the case of without cholesterol. So now the task in hand is to get the transition from this unfolded state to this helix state. Here again we use we we, we opted for the string method, and the transition here is uh, goes something like this. This n terminus again has some helicity which remains intact, and finally it folds back to this, and c terminus also slightly gets some helical content and finally folds back. So this entire mechan the entire mechanism is very similar to what we observed in without cholesterol. So the take-home message of this slide is simply that the partial and unfolded state is an intermediate state, regardless of the uh, membrane type, and the cholesterol promotes this unfolding. Next, we look at the stability and the kinetics of this uh, uh, peptide in the presence of cholesterol and without cholesterol. Here, NC means no cholesterol, WC means with cholesterol. Then this is the one one D three energy profile where where rightmost is the membrane inserted uh, region and the leftmost is for the uh, water solvated uh, part. So if you look at these values here, uh, free energy difference values, when we go from zero percent cholesterol to thirty percent cholesterol, we see a very drastic reduction in the free energy difference, which says that now the now the protomer is much more stable when there when there is cholesterol in the membrane. At the same time, the, the free energy barrier to go from monomeric state to protomeric state is also reduced when you add the cholesterol. Previously in our lab also, uh, experimentally we were able to, we, we also got a very similar uh, behavior of this protein in the conformational change, which was published in 2018. So here, this, uh, it means that cholesterol stabilizes a single protomeric state. So it's very much likely it is going to stabilize the entire pore state, which is made up of the uh, made up of the, of these protomer only, because of the re re reduction in the free energy values, free energy difference values, and it increases the kinetics as well because the re reduction in free energy barrier. So in conclusion, we were able to get one unfolded uh, in intermediate during this transition. And we were able to uh, explain the experimentally observed behavior of these uh, acti in the activity of the of these protein in the in the presence of cholesterol with the help of our free energy analysis. So we observed enhanced stability and kinetics of the Clie with cholesterol, and we proposed that blocking the unfolding can potentially in inhibit the pore formation proce uh, process of this these toxins. And I would like to end with uh, by thanking my my guides. Gaganpati Ayappa, Sudeep Panathanam and Rahul Roy for their guidance and SCRC TOE for the computational resources and SM and MHRD for the funds. And thank you so much.